And there's a motion regarding pedestrian access along 4th Avenue Northwest. Uh, Councilor Swanson. I would move that City Administration prepare a report detailing the state of pedestrian access along 4th Avenue Northwest from McDonald Street to the north side of Thatcher Drive. Such report to include options for upgrading pedestrian access along this thoroughfare. Thank you. Do we have a second? We'll second that. Councilor Looney, thank you. Councilor Swanson. Uh, I travel this uh, street, 4th Avenue Northwest, from McDonald Street to, north, to Thatcher Drive several times a day. And I have concerns about how dangerous it has become, particularly with respect to recent developments. Uh, there are a number of people who use this road as a pedestrian thoroughfare. In many circumstances, they're left to be walking on the road or, very, or the shoulder of the road. Sunningdale is a very large subdivision. It, it would be naive to think that people are not going to use one of the two principal accesses to there for walking. Recent developments there, that wall that has been built within six or seven feet of the road has made pedestrian access increasingly dangerous there. When you get to Thatcher Drive, there is no crosswalk or anything to facilitate pedestrians crossing one of our busiest roads, and there are children doing that on a daily basis. But I think for the city of Moose Jaw to sit back and do nothing would remind me of when we sat back and did nothing for pedestrian access to Sunningdale along Main Street and it took a fatality in order for a pathway to be developed there. And I would not want that to be duplicated. We are stuck basically with a situation that is not an easy one to provide a solution to, but the number of pedestrians using that thoroughfare obligate us to bring some measures to this that will make it a safer access for those people. Uh, and the design issues which may become prohibitive. I guess in looking at this, uh, I, I see that this is an item that uh, probably could and should be considered in, in capital budget. Uh, that We continually hear uh, that we should be doing, not be doing things outside of the budget cycle and here we are introducing a, an item that could cost us about $250,000 in the absence of the budget cycle. And I suppose the question that I would uh, ask is that uh, why are we not dealing with this in the budget cycle? I'm not prepared to support the motion at this time. Thank you. Uh, I, I take your comments with a grain of salt, given you just voted to spend 60000 It wasn't in the budget on an untendered thing. And this does not call for an expenditure, Mr. Mayor. It calls for a report to be detailed. It is now the beginning of October. The timeline for getting something like this into capital budget discussions, I think, is being followed. I've requested a report. So I would be careful about the pot calling the kettle black when it comes to spending money. Uh, this is calling for a report that could be dealt with in discussions, whereas two minutes ago we passed $60,000 that wasn't in this year's budget. And so uh, you're going to have to do a better job than that. And there's no doubt pedestrian safety is always a concern, very much like I have a concern of the traveling public on the 9th Avenue and the Trans Canada. But I do know that uh, to, just to pass this motion at this time really is just uh, meaningless. I cannot support the motion. Thank you, Councillor Schwinghammer, for the discussion on the motion. Councillor Lennon. Thank you, Worship. Just a quick comment. Um, it simply is asking for a report and. Uh, being that uh, I've been here for four years now, um, along with Councillor Swanson, I, I uh, have to admit I think I know Councillor Swanson well enough to know that when this report comes, he will probably refer it to capital budget to be discussed at that time, which is the proper place for it to be done. And, and I don't see um, what the problem is in that. that the problem is in that. I think this is a, a valid thing. This is something the city has a responsibility to look at. On the other hand, of spending $60,000 on a further environmental study on more costs that the city is going to spend that we just passed, I mean, it's amazing to watch. Um, and and I'm, I'm sure the, the, the viewers of, of our meetings are, are watching how we're getting so off of the facts of these reports, and it's just getting so personal. And it, this, I'm in favor of this motion. I don't think it hurts to look into this. And uh, I, I, 
I can pretty much bet that 90%, I bet you Councillor Swanson will refer this back to capital budget because he understands what the procedures are and uh, it's worthwhile looking into it. I'm not saying I'm in favour of it because I agree the cost is, you know, it needs to be looked at, but it's something that, that should be done. I'll vote in favour of the motion. Thank you. Councillor Sigalandry. And uh, I think it would be appropriate to be discussing this when it comes time for capital budget. So I will not be supporting this motion. Thank you. Councillor Swanson. And I would urge councillors to put aside for a moment that I'm bringing this motion forward and think about the fact that there are people of all ages, including young children, walking along a very busy thoroughfare every day where there has been no accounting in design or planning for pedestrian access. Those in favor of the motion? Those opposed? Motion is defeated.